for, for life, for life. All right, guys, so for tonight's video, I think that it's appropriate we hit you with the disclaimer before we get started, right? Anything said from here on forward is just theories and thoughts in no way meant to be taken as fact. You just take these theories and thoughts, maybe do your own research, and come to your own conclusions off of this, right? I just like to throw these ideas out there because I am a deep thinker and overanalyzer, sometimes um, too much so. And, and I love to look into conspiracy theories. But with that out of the way, I've had a suggestion. Someone asked me in the comments to watch and review the new Bray Wyatt documentary that WWE released on Peacock in the United States. WWE Network, I'm sure it came on abroad. Uh, I believe they released it on WrestleMania weekend or right before, right? So I, I watched it. And, um, I mean, it was a good documentary, kind of weird watching it, knowing what I know. And maybe for you guys that watch my channel and also watch the documentary, knowing what you know, if you've seen my video about the Bray Wyatt death, if you haven't, you can go back into the playlist and, um, check it out. Yes, I believe that Bray's death was a sacrifice and an industry, an entertainment industry, a cult sacrifice. I do. There's too much gematria that lines up and uh, just too much shadiness around the whole thing. And even in that video, I had many of you that agreed that um, everything was off and, you know, there was more to be more to be uh, discovered on his death than what meets the eye. But it was kind of 50-50 on the comments. A lot of people are still stuck in believing that, you know, Bray died of the uh, cough cough. Okay, whatever you want to believe. But um, for me personally, watching the documentary was a little bit weird. Now, in the comments, uh, you know, I, I, I had a, I had one of the viewers say that um, everyone interviewed seemed off, seemed a little bit, seemed a little bit, a little bit weird there. I don't know. Um, it was a good documentary, really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit slow plotting at times, but towards the end, um, really interesting stuff. Bo seemed genuinely tore up like his world had just come to an end, uh, losing Bray. JoJo and everyone else seemed uh, also really shattered by the whole thing. So I don't know if I could really read any shadiness or anything being off with the, uh, with the interviews, but the death itself, I'm 110% certain is shady. And um, this is also a good topic to bring up because it looks to be like Bo is coming back soon. Now, I also called that, you can, I also have a video about the uh, the Wyatt Six stuff and, and Bo making a comeback as uh, Uncle Howdy or maybe even this Wormwood character, um, whatever. I made a video months and months ago about that. So this has been something that's been anticipated for a long time. Was the Wyatt Six videos, or were they rather, uh, fan fiction and the Wormwood stuff and all of that just, you know, just made up by a fan, some random guy that happens to be extremely good at editing. So good, in fact, that it rivals the WWE professionals themselves. Was it just a fan using AI for for the voices of, of uh, Bo and others? AI must be picture perfect now, man, because, um, yeah, it sounded like true recordings of everyone featured in those YS6 videos. But let's just say that was fan fiction. Bo's still been rumored to come back for quite a while. 
since shortly after Bray's death and um, the timing and everything. I'm not going to say that the people in the documentary acted weird, but I am going to say that the timing of the documentary was weird, uh, you know, coming out WrestleMania season. And um, now you see that it seems to be that Bo is coming back. Really cool stuff, by the way. Uh, I saw a clip of the um, little video package that played during a commercial break for the live audience at Raw. Super cool stuff. I'm kind of interested. I'm not going to be, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. So if anything pops up, anything starts going viral with uh, Bo and his return, which I'm sure it will, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to watch small clips here and there and and follow this this uh, Bo stuff because I'm invested. The channel's covered it. The channel's covered it previously. We got a bunch of subscribers off of that video. Um, but it's still weird, man. Thinking that Bray's death was a sacrifice, an industry sacrifice, either for the WWE sell to Endeavor or for, I mean, I, I don't really want to say this, and I'm not saying that I think this, or, but it's a possibility for for Bo to have success in the industry. And then, you know, everything start coming out all at once with the documentary and Bo coming back and all of that during WrestleMania season. It's just weird for me. It's just really weird. You know, I felt like I needed to get at least a short video out talking about that documentary with Bray and, um, and Bo coming back. That's something that I needed to talk about. That's big news, honestly. And the WWE roster could use it. I'm hearing that, um, I've been told rather that Seth Rollins is expected to be taking time off as well as Roman Reigns. So the roster is starting to look a little bit thin, maybe, you know, as far as top guys go and Bo could be a huge push. And this is, uh, our huge addition rather and uh, boost for a roster that's looking a little bit, a little bit lean at the moment. I don't know, man. There's not really much that can be said about it. I think we all kind of agree. The ones that have really looked into it understand Gematria and um, know how common these industry sacrifices are. Man, we, we know what it was. We really don't have to ask questions anymore. And that's a big reason why I changed the format of the channel. I... I think it's it's obvious at this point. The whole entertainment industry is screwed up from the top to the bottom, everywhere in between. It's and it's done, man. It's totally done. Everybody's going to get exposed. Everybody. Matter of time. There's not going to be a few that take the fall. You already see that Diddy's getting ready. He's got a list of people. That he's taken down with him. Vince McMahon uh, investigation is still ongoing. Nothing's been finished there. Nothing's been closed. Nothing's been resolved. A lot of people's going to go down. Everybody's going to go down. Yep. Everybody's going to go down. So that's really my feelings on the documentary. It's worth watching. If you can make yourself get through it with a clear conscience if you believe that it was a sacrifice and um it didn't change my feelings on um on Bray's passing one way or the other very sad though very sad seemed like a very very good dude really good guy and super talented I loved Bray Wyatt Man, I was, he was my dude, 2013, 2015, with the Hawaiian shirt and the straw hat and everything, that banging ass theme song, it was just his own point, but uh, he was one of the prime examples of Vince McMahon really screwing somebody over with the booking. Primo example of Vince screwing somebody over with the booking. He could never really catch traction because he would always be 
undermined with either stupid losses or stupid asinine storylines and no continuity anyways guys that's my feelings on the bray wyatt documentary again check it out if uh if if you know you're just looking for something to watch it's worth worth your time until next time guys take care of yourselves